Hi guys and welcome back for another video here at Ricky's Ape Spot. Today we'll be taking a look at the TFV8 Cloud Beast tank by Smok. So I guess Smog is pretty popular with coming out oh, with those extreme vape gear stuff. And this is not different with the TFV-8, so the Cloud Beast tank. It's a 25.5 millimeter tank, so it will look actually um, kind of huge on, on all your smaller mods. Uh, so I took out the Sigali 213, simply because this is rated as a much higher wattage tank. So um, given my daily usage of mods, with, I mostly and mainly go up only to 30, 40 watts or tops. Well, this is actually bringing out the heavy guns. This tank was sent to me for the purpose of this review from the fine folks at MTM store and you can go and check it out on their website. And also guys, at the end of this video I will be giving this TFV8 uh, Cloud Beast away to one lucky winner, so make sure you stick around. So what we're gonna be doing today is basically we'll take a look at the tank itself, we'll do an un unboxing, and then we'll take a look at all the individual coils. So we have the quadruple coil, the octuple coil, and the RBA base and we'll do a short re-wicking of the RBA base later and then we'll sum it all up and, and see what we get out of it. So without further ado, let's go down to the table and do an unboxing. And we're here up close and personal with the Smog uh, Cloud Beast. This is the front of the device. On this side we do have the pictured coil heads, we have the octuple coil head, the quadruple coil head and the RBA base here. On the other side there's some vaping tool application that you can download. And on the back we do have some package information as well as some company and warnings. So in the package there comes a TFV8 Cloud Beast tank, the V8 T8 octuple coil heads, the V8 Q4 quadruple coil head, the V8 exclusive turbo RBA head, so we can rebuild it, and the 510 RBA drip tip adapter, as well as a replacement glass tube, and a user manual and some spare parts. Uh, let's open this one up. Okay, and underneath, some <clears throat> and underneath we do find the tank itself. We'll take a look at this a little bit later. And underneath in the box, atomizer user, attention card, a short instructional manual, some spare parts here some cotton, as well as some silicone rings, an allen wrench, and then we do have the extra glass tube. This is going to be the quadruple coil head, uh, and those coil heads are actually massive. If you've seen my Esper Cleto review, this is the Cleto coil next to the TFV8 coil head, so it's huge. And then we also have the RBA section, and we'll take a look at it. A little bit later, but this is how it basically unscrews. You just wick it and that's basically it. Let's take a look at the tank. This is a wide bore mouth drip tip with a non so standard 510 drip tip adapter. But you get the standard 510 drip tip adapter here in the bag, which you can actually place on here and then use basically any drip tip. This is a top fill tank, so when you, if you want to fill it up, you need to just swivel this away and then fill it up through the little hole in here. So let me just close this off. Okay, and uh, this is basically the tank section here, the glass, and the bottom section comes actually apart like so by unscrewing, and then it actually unscrews from the top part of the chimney. And here you have the other coil, and this is the octuple coil. Huge as well. So we have four dual coils, I guess, inside that makes eight coils. And this is the quadruple coil head. Absolutely huge. Absolutely huge. So the tank itself is 25.5 millimeters in width. And I guess that's pretty expected to be housing coils like this. First, we will be using the quadruple coil head and then we'll switch it on later out to the octuple coil heads. So we'll screw this in here. We'll prime it. Okay, I'm just gonna make a few circles here on the top to prime it up. We can now screw it back together. It's a little bit squeaky because it's dry. The airflow control is on the bottom. We do have 
two big slots here and you can close them off. There's no clicking or anything, but the tolerance is actually pretty nice. And then swivel the top cap. Okay, and then just put your needle nose inside here and fill up the tank. So you need to maybe push it in a little bit and then close it off. So one, okay, like so. I'll put this whiteboard drip tip back on top and we'll just let it sit for a while. So we do have the tank capacity for this tank uh, with the quadruple coil head that is inside right now. You can get in up to 6 mils of e-juice and with the V8 coil head you can get in up to 5.5 uh, mils of e-juice. I guess it's mainly because of the way the coils is designed and the coil can actually take up some more juice. But it's actually a pretty big tank. That's a good thing simply because I think those coils are gonna be eating up the juice like like crazy. So, um, that was a closer look. Uh, I think we should go back to top and have a vape. Okay guys, and we're back. Uh, I installed the quadruple coil. This one is rated uh, at 0 0.15 ohms. Um, 50 to 180 watts and it's said to be best between 90 and 150. I have it at 90 watts on my Sigeli 213 uh, with the preheat adjustment to 100 watts for half a second. Let's see how this one does. It is a cloud beast and this is only at 90 watts so let me go and take it up to a hundred watts Damn. okay this is not something that I would vape on a daily <laughs> basis simply because I think it's just just awkward how how much vapor is coming out of you And let's go, let's go take it up to 120. Okay, this is getting much warmer right now, but it's keeping up pretty good. Let's give it another vape. I feel like a train. At 120, this is already getting too warm for me. Of course, it's totally doable, um, but it's just a lot. A lot of clouds. Let me just go back so you get a better idea. And as you can see, I'm just taking like one to two second pulls and this is killing it. Uh, let's go up to 140, set the preheat adjustment to 150, let's give it a test. <laughs> just a second. Let's go. It's getting really cloudy in here. Damn. And this is uh, only a 70-30 juice inside. I think it's even lower a little bit. Um, but as you can see, this is producing plenty of vapor. At 140, it's definitely too much. But let's go and give it 150. I'm not gonna go higher than that. This is already too much for me. This is definitely some extreme vaping equipment here. Okay guys, this is... <laughs> As you can see, it's really producing a lot of vapor, but it's so much over the top. <sighs> Let's give it another one at 150.
I think I like this one the best at like um, 100 watts. I think I'll set the preheat adjustment back to 110. I'm scared to try out the octuple coil heads. And as you can see, just by testing this out for this few minutes, I already ran through more than half of the tank, given that this part here is the coil head. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna replace this quadruple coil head with the octuple coil heads and see what we get out of it. And the coil heads are pretty hot. So this is the octuple coil head inside. Uh, let me just go and juice it up. I do have the octuple coil head installed in here and this is rated at 115 ohms, 50 to 260 watts. This device doesn't even go that high. Okay. And it's said to be best at 120 to 180 watts. So uh, let's start with the minimum at 120. And I'll set the preheat adjustment to 130 for half a second. So 120, the octuple coil heads, Cloud Beast. I'm scared, <laughs> I'm scared to go higher than 120, um, but what I can say right off the bat is um, I do prefer the draw on the octuple coil has a little bit more, it's a more smoother vape, I guess that's mainly because of the four coil heads that are inside, it's not one big one as with the quadruple coil, it's actually four smaller ones and I think this makes the airflow much smoother with the octuple coil head inside. So, 120, let's give it another hit. This is definitely a head turner. If you want to go to a party and vape up the whole room, this, <laughs> this is the way to go. For me personally, this is not the style that I'm vaping, and this is a <laughs> this is a total um, overkill for me personally. The flavor and vapor production are there. Maybe the flavor is a little bit more muted simply because of the um, huge amount of airflow and the higher wattages. It definitely does what it's supposed to be doing, and this is <sighs> and this is a cloud beast. Let's go to 150. Let's set the preheat adjustment to 160. I have to say I'm getting dizzy out of it. This is a 3 mg juice. Um, if you plan on vaping this for, for some longer periods of time, you might want to go with zero nick because this is definitely a lot. 150 with the Cloud Beast tank. Okay, just had to get a drink and I opened the, f the window here because um, this is this is just too much. <laughs> 150 watts with 160 preheat adjustment to half a second. If you're into big clouds, this is definitely a tank for you guys. Um, if you're anything like me and you have, I don't know, the k V5 in your daily rotation, uh, uh, I think this is way too much. So at 150 uh, this is getting already too hot for me but for the purposes of this review I will take it up to 180 watts. I'm scared to go higher than that. I will set the preheat adjustment to 180 as well and what I can say even at those higher wattages I'm not getting any speed back so this is really good and really something that's important given that I suppose the juice that's inside, if that gets in your mouth at that temperatures and that wattage, <clears throat> you could really burn yourself. But as I said, this, the tank itself is getting pretty hot, but you can still touch it. But the drip tip itself is staying cool, so you have no problems in vaping this. Airflow is wide open, 180 watts, and this is the highest I'm gonna go. I'm, I'm seriously 
although it's rated to 260 watts, 180. This is definitely overdoing it. If you guys are used to higher wattages and blowing huge amounts of vapor and huge amounts of clouds, uh, this is definitely a tank for you. Uh, for me personally, this is just too much. Actually, we'll go back down to the table right now and we'll replace this V8, the octuple coil head, with the RBA base. We'll re-wick it and then we'll see how this one vapes. So, another pull at 180. <laughs> You don't even have to vape it, you can just blow on it. Feel like a train. Okay guys, and we're back uh, and we'll do a re-wicking now. So this one screws in like so, and then we'll remove the top ring here. First of all, we'll do some cleaning out, 3.5 maybe. Just get this one straight. Okay. So as you can see, we need to get the wick through the coil heads and then inside those slots here. So. Okay, starting to light up nicely. So, and especially with those coils, you want to actually dry burn them at first just to see that they're lighting up pretty nicely, as you could see there were some hot spots on the coil heads. Okay, so I think we're ready to wick it. Like so, getting nice and tight. And we'll do the same thing on the other side. Okay, and then we'll cut it just about to the end of the atomizer. And then we'll do the same thing on the other side should be nice and even like so and then all there is left to do is basically is tuck those wicks inside so next to the post this side you don't want to jam it inside uh, you want to keep it fluffy so the juice can get to the coils okay let's go to the other side okay I think that's good we're good to go let's juice this up make sure you saturate the coil as good as you can, 70 watts. Let's keep the preheat at 80 watts. Okay, and we have vapor. Those are some staggered Clapton's and the preheat adjustment of the Sigeli 213 will come in pretty handy here because they do need some, they do have some ramp up time for coils, so pretty good. So let's put on the top cap here and that's basically about it. Let's go back to top and have a bake. Okay guys, and we're back. We've just re-wicked this RBA base from the small TFV8, uh, the Cloud Beast, and let's see how this vapes. I have it at 70 watts, 80 watts preheat adjustment for 0.5 seconds, and let's give it a test fire. <laughs> now, personally for me, this is a much more enjoyable vape uh, with this RBA section inside. It does come out to 0 0.3 ohms, firing it as 4.6 volts. I think that's that's good enough for me. <laughs> Much more enjoyable for me personally, and um, I think uh, everything else is there too. So you can see the vapor and flavor production is there. I will set the preheat adjustment to, let's say, 100 watts and keep it at 70 watts, so all together, just to give it this little burst in the beginning. Working much better now. This tank is a real juice whore, so you will go through mills and mills of juice. Um, But yeah, as I said, uh, a little bit higher ohms on, on this one, and for me personally, that's the way to go. If you're into extreme vaping, you might find those octuple and quadruple coil heads 
just up your alley, but for me personally, this is much, much nicer and much more enjoyable. And as I said, still getting huge and big amounts of clouds out of the cloud bees. Pretty impressive. So you do get this tank uh, in two different color options. Uh, this is the black one and you also have the stainless steel, the silver one. Holds right about 6 mils of e-juice and uh, let's go to MTM store website to check out the price. So the price for the TFE8 Cloud Beast will be 346.93 kunas or in euros that's 47.53 euros uh, and you do get the spare coils for 48.30 one kunas or in euros that's uh, 6.63 euros for a single coil head and since you do have the RBA base inside um, I think if you are into rewicking I think this shouldn't be any problem for you so even if you run out of coils you can just rewick it and um, replace uh, the coils that are inside with new ones. In my opinion this is a great tank for a smaller number of people, mainly those people who are into extreme vaping. And uh, if you're into blowing huge clouds I think this might be right your alley. The flavor on it, um, as I said, it's it's really good for a tank like this. You do get almost this dripper experience out of the tank, mainly because you are using it at such high wattages. The builds that you can put inside as you saw uh, either with bar coils or even if you would like to recoil the RBA base uh, and rewick it, I think you have plenty of options. In my point of view, if you are going with such a tank, first of all, you need to take care that you have a proper device to use this tank on. The Sigeli 213 is working just fine with it, especially with those preheat adjustments. You might even want to go with a DNA 200 uh, or any of the higher wattage mods, especially if you are using um, something like Clapton's and stuff like that, you might want to adjust the preheat adjustments just a little bit higher to get the extra burst in the beginning so you're not waiting for the coils to heat up. Other than that, this is basically, for what it is and for who it is, I think it's, an, it's a really nice tank. For me personally, I will probably not be using it. Maybe if someone invites me to their party as a fog machine, I might, I might go with the tank. But other than that, um, I think this is just a little bit oh, too much for me, personally. <laughs> if you are into big clouds, just go and check it out on the MTM sign. I think you will actually enjoy this tank. Okay guys, and now to the giveaway. Um, I will be giving away this smog uh, cloud beast tank, uh, the one that I was using in this review. It is a used tank but I will properly wash it and clean it out and since I already messed up the coils with the juice I will be throwing in a 30 ml bottle of the juice I was using with the cloud beast um, so you can continue using the coils. The coils are basically new and of course you will also be able to rebuild the RBA base so that shouldn't mind. So if you don't mind that, for the giveaway I want you first of all to be subscribed to this YouTube channel and second of all to like my Facebook page. So and underneath this shared video on my Facebook page in the comment section I want you to post a cloud selfie. Post one picture of you blowing some big clouds so I know you are able to handle this tank and I'll be giving this away uh, to one lucky winner randomly chosen. So let's keep this giveaway going for the next seven days, for the next week or so. Um, so by the end of next week, I will be announcing the winner for the TFV8 and the extra 30 mil bottle of the juice that I was using. And I think that's basically about it for me for today. Thank you so much for watching. I do hope you found some of those informations useful here. If you did, please like and subscribe to my channel. That will mean a lot to me. You can also follow me on my Facebook page. Uh, I have an Instagram account and a Twitter account. I'm wishing you all a wonderful rest of the day. Let's keep on vaping and I'll see you again pretty soon.